I don't know if I view it as Ebers versus Thompson and all they seem to be on the same page about one to fund UW. The question becomes, barring something miraculous this fall, Republicans, for Democrats, Republicans will still be in charge of legislature come January. So how are they going to react to this spending increase, especially in terms of our difficult budget we have coming ahead? Um, two, yes, Tommy Thompson is a Republican. He calls himself a conservative. His brand of Republican conservatism isn't the same brand that now walks the halls of the Capitol. It's a much different world than it was 20 years ago. Also, don't forget, I don't know if there's anybody left in the Republican caucuses, in the Assembly at least, I'm pretty sure there's none, a couple, a handful in the Senate, who were here when Tommy Thompson was governor. Uh, it's just a different world. They haven't really worked with Tommy Thompson. So, you know, it's just, it, they don't have that relationship. So we still got a solid job to do with Republicans come fall, uh, call spring, I'm sorry. So that's something to watch, I think, about this. How can Tommy Thompson not just put this out there, but pitch this budget and sell it to Republicans who don't remember the Tommy days like you do? But, but he's still got the passion. He's still got the fight. And now his cause is the UW system. So it's just going to be incredibly interesting to watch. Rewind. Your Week in Review is sponsored by the Wisconsin Realtors Association, bringing Wisconsin communities to life with great homes, businesses, and neighborhoods. The Wisconsin Realtors Association, the voice of real estate. 